Mm, I, lo <clears throat> I love an encoding overload. Hmm. Where is the game? Oh, it's not there. It's not there. Come on. Come on, where is it? Capture any full screen. There we go. Oh wait, what? Oh. Oh, the Unreal... Oh, the Unreal process has crashed. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool when that happens. Yeah, just just muting it for a second because you know, you know. So I think I've mostly sorted out the uh, stinky performance. Let me know if it's still choppy on your end because this is pretty smooth on mine. Well, okay, it was, it was a little choppy there for a second. But it's pretty good overall. I, okay, I say that. It, it gets a little choppy, so I don't know, but it's better. It's a lot better. Because my capture card was causing some issues, I think. That might have been a big part of the problem. There's a uh, something over there. Gotta remember what the buttons are. Oh yeah, that's a doubloon. What was the button? Oh, there we go. Now oh, is this progress or just a secret? Oh, well, you can glide over there. But there's also one down there, and I want that. Uh, not really. So let's get that other one. Maybe we'll unlock some new costumes that way. Can I climb this? No, they won't let me climb this. Also, yes, I believe you're the only viewer right now. You never really know with these things. I just gotta wait and see. Wait and see what happens. Wrong? Oh, yep, there's Zeej. How much did you miss? Uh, I think just the rest of the movie world. But I might be missing- No, there was a pirate world too. So yeah, one and a half worlds. Tally ho! Tally -ho. Okay, so I can glide through this. I mean, this is a pretty big open area right here. Okay, do I have any new costumes? What's the button? That's the button. How goes this game? I mean, we really just started, so... But I mean, good so far. It's running a lot better now. No, I don't get any more until I get eight. Until I get eight doubloons. But I'll, I'll wear this. How'd you get it to run better? 
Weirdly enough, I think it was my capture card that was doing it. Like, it's just the Aver Media capture card takes up a lot of, like, weird resources, so... Basically, I just had that deactivate whenever I was on... <laughs> whenever I wasn't showing it. And it improved the frame rate substantially. Okay, cool invisible wall right here. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's definitely like... I want to say like 80% better. But I mean, a couple frame drops, I guess, are to be expected. Like, there's... Like, what game out there runs perfectly these days? Yeah, I mean, it sucks it's like that, though. Oh, wait, what? what is this? What is this? Okay, I'm not getting over there like that. Oh, oh, oh! Don't do that. Oh, great. Now he's looking over here. Here's what I'll do. And it's that easy. Okay. We do not have enough viewers to justify you missing messages. Well, I mean, sometimes I just don't got anything to say. You know? Like, I don't... Sometimes it's just, you know, there's nothing to say. But yes, the capture card was quite... Well, I don't know. This might be too early in the video to be cursing. That's when you repeat the message out loud and say truly. That awful slime left by that monster. What disgusting creature could do that? I expected SpongeBob to take offense by that, but I guess not. Oh, hey, it's that guy. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> They are sensitive to the light. Excuse me, have you seen? I'm afraid I have not. Has, does SpongeBob know the slime is Gary yet? Yeah, he does. I'm in the middle of crucial organizing business for the Snail Cup. If you want to enter the race, you need to pay the participation fee of five candy bars. There's only one way to get the amount of candy we need. Take it from babies? No, we go trick-or-treating. Oh, that works too, I guess. <laughs> oh, did I... Did I... Did I get it? What happened? Did it release... Okay, monsters were released. I guess not. <clears throat> Maybe I just don't get it right now. Sticky sweet. Ah, yes. Oh, you look adorable. Trick or treat? Ooh, look at you! What a nice costume! How can I help you, young fellows? Candy! Candy, 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 candy! Oh, of course, sweetie. Here, have a candy bar. Yeah, they're they're kind of overusing this joke a, li a little bit. Wow, vintage. Thanks. That's probably one of the better uses of it, though. Okay, so I guess some of the doors just don't have it. You just got to run around and figure out which ones have it. Been trying to find chocolate for three days. There's almost nothing left. Except for, well, I could tell you, but 
You have to promise to split the spoils. I'm all ears. Well, actually, I'm mostly cellulose, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, a weird and very heavy rock crashed behind my house. Right on my chocolate shed. Maybe you can move it. Here, let me open the gate for you. Oh, wait, that was... That was Tom. Heavy rock is right next to my house. You can't miss it. I thought he was incidental. Look, Patrick, that's your job. <laughs> A little dab will do ya. Apparently, Tom is canon. Yeah, I mean, I don't know where they got these names from, to be honest with you. Also, I, I don't know. I think you still could have easily gone in that. Chocolate! Chocolate! Finally! Chocolate! There you go. Well, if it weren't for Gary, I could go home and watch Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy reruns. You better have a good reason for being in trouble. Um, because we played with magic bubbles and tore into the fabric of reality, creating cosmic chaos that puts all of Bikini Bottom in danger? We said a good reason. The name is from Pretty Patties. There's a very similar character design named Tom, but he's colored differently. Where did they say it, though? I don't remember that, like... You all know me. I am... I have encyclopedic knowledge. I have encyclopedic knowledge of the first three seasons of Spongebob. And I, I do not remember that happening. I was I was always confused by that, to be honest with you. Okay, I already went that way. Where, where's the way? Okay. Bubble. Objective bubble. Have you seen my snail? Tiny, cute, sweet, with very expressive eyelashes. If he's really sweet, then the monster probably took him. He ruined everyone's Halloween by stealing our sweets. The last time it was seen, it crawled down the racing track. I think the track probably leads all the way to its lair. Oh, from when they're talking about the talking dog at the shell shack. You know, that does sound familiar now. There it feasts on innocent candy and pets. Poor Gary. Patrick, we need to find more candy to get on that racing track. Here, have one of my candy bars for the participation fee. Your awesome costume deserves it. I don't know what this voice is, by the way. Thanks. Yeah, it's me, child. How how you doing? I got a rock. Oh, that's a Peanuts reference. The voice is, we didn't hire actual children. You know, understandable, honestly. I can't, I can't judge. I mean, child labor laws are like, okay, so they can only work this late. You know, you gotta... You gotta refer to them with this name and also don't feed them after dark. You know, sometimes I, I understand why they're just like, you know what, we'll just get, we'll just get like, you know, a woman or a man who can do a particularly convincing falsetto. This looks a little silly. Okay, so it, it wants me to be up there. I gotta get back up there. You know, if I had known that they were going to have me running around the whole place, I maybe would have waited a second. Before, before I did all of the- oh, it's up there. The other side. Oh. 
Sometimes they just embrace it and say, fuck it, this kid sounds like a 40-year-old man and you're gonna like it. Would nepotism be a viable solution to child labor laws? I have no idea what you mean by that. I don't know. Where do I go? Oh, I go over here. Yeah, none of these are actual children. Did not, did not even pretend. Uh oh, uh oh. No, oh, come on. Nepotism is in hiring your own kid. No, I, I think that's still subject. Sweet Neptune, are you insane running around like this? Don't you know people have phobias? Sorry, I didn't know my costume was that scary. What are you afraid of? Boxes, man, boxes. <laughs> you never know what'll be inside or where they'll take you. And then it's too late. And you look just like one. All square-like. Sometimes boxes have good things in them, like Krabby Patties. Oh, yeah. I guess you're right. Here's some candy. Thank you. Balloons? Don't you know people have phobias? <laughs> uh, that's a silly man right there. Oh, I still have my fan on high. I shouldn't do that. It might pick up. And if it picks up, well then that, that's, that's not good. I would prefer generally if it did not do that. Hard to believe there's a monster here. R.I.P. Johnny. Last words. Watch this. <laughs> That's pretty good, honestly. <laughs> this guy could use some meat on his bones. Am I- is that the same door that I just keep opening? No, right? Can't be. Simply improbable. Did you know every word at my school says I'm the smartest, most diligent, hey, most coolest good kid? Costume. Because they do. Very believable. Alright, nothing in there. Oh boy, and now it- now it wants me to go up here. It, Hmm, there might be a little bit of padding going on. The thing about a monster, it's got lifeless eyes, black eyes, like a doll's eyes. That that dialogue seems familiar. I got an achievement for that. I can't understand your accent. Trick or treat. Oh, well, that's... Oh. Never heard this joke before. Why did you say so? Here, have a candy bar. A nice costume, by the way. Thank you. That's all the candy we need. Now we can give it all away to Mrs. Puff. We'll do it. We have to. You again. Did you bring the participation fee candy? Yeah, cool if I, I don't know. That sounds like that won't go well. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, though. I'm not a lawyer. With nuts. Fancy. Now keep still. This is going to hurt. Wait, what? It's a snail race. You have to be a snail and fast. Go! <laughs> oh, the controls are different too. 
uh, oh, okay. I don't, I don't understand what that means. Climb stuff? Oh, when you go up slopes, right? Mush, steel, mush. Uh, uh, okay. If you say so. Oh, hey, Kirby. Don't see you around very often. Howdy doody. So does she do that to just like everybody that that shows up to this? Or did she specifically take the opportunity because of SpongeBob? <laughs> 3D sponge snails a little uncomfortable. Yeah, perhaps a bit. If you don't press the button, he goes faster though. You know, that's the speed run trick. survived uh, i mean you won the race <laughs> congratulations now go bother the other kids okay so let, let's let's switch it up we've been wearing this one for a minute and you know there's a bunch of costumes what have we not what have we not worn yet you know what this would also be fitting i think Okay, what's what's going on here? Oh, oh, new mon new monster. <laughs> Clever. Oh, and yep, it's one of those asteroids monsters. I know you and Blob mentioned it being very linear. Uh, it's sort of, it's sort of, like, on and off. There's, like, big open areas, and then, like, it goes, like, real linear. And so, as far as how it stacks up to Battle for Bikini Bottom, I honestly don't know at the moment. Like, it, it's honestly hard for me to say. I do, like Blob, I do kind of wish it leaned into the collect-a-thon stuff a little bit more than it does. But, I mean, I don't know. God dang it. When am I gonna get this? When am I gonna get the sponge flop? But yeah, I mean, overall it's pretty good. I think I like Battle for Bikini Bottom a little bit better still. But it's not too, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. There's a shiny candy over there. I wonder what it tastes like. Don't touch it, Patrick. Strawberries, my Hard to rate a game you're not even done with yet with a get to a game with 20 years of history. Yeah, that that's very true. I, I I think I'll have to like mull on it for a while before I can give you an honest opinion. Is it more like Creature from the Krusty Krab? Here's a Gigwandi stage for you to navigate. I I'm not sure what you mean by that. Oh, that was a friend. Gigantic. Patrick, you, you're glowing. I, I don't think, I don't know. It, it's kind of like, okay, you, you do like a linear path for a little while. And then, like, it sort of drops you into this area that's a bit more open. And gives you sort of like a find the whatever type objective. And then it goes back to linear and it, it kind of operates like that, I think. Who, who said that? How do you know my name? It's me, Patrick. I thought I was Patrick. No, I'm SpongeBob. <laughs> You're Patrick. So maybe more like the movie game. I think the movie game is a bit more linear than this. But, you know, like not... You know, not like... I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, maybe we should turn on some lights oh there's one of the golden sure. spatulas. I'd say it's, yeah, it's somewhere in between Battle for Bikini Bottom and the movie game, maybe. But like I said, I'm still trying to kind of formulate in my brain. Like all my thoughts about this game. 
It's it's kind of hard because it's like my thoughts are constantly fluctuating. And I'm trying, I'm observing, you know? Yeah, I will say that. More more gimmicks overall. Ugh. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out if there's a way for me to dodge that. Like, let me try to use the dodge move. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, it's, it seems to be like... You gotta be really far away for that to not affect you. It also doesn't really help that I'm kind of not 100% tonight. It's just been, it's been one of those days, you know what I mean? It's like not even anything particularly bad happened, it's just kind of been like one of those days where you're just in a funk. And not the good kind of funk either, where you're getting, you're getting down. Oh, there's a light. Yeah, like right here. So it drops you sort of into a open area and it's like, okay, uh, find the four buttons. Except it, it does kind of just tell you exactly where they are. <laughs> so I don't know how I feel about that. I told you I was sick. <laughs> the writing's pretty funny when it's not like, <laughs> you know, overly self-referential like that's i mean that's kind of the case with the actual show these days though <laughs> gotta figure out i still have no idea what the golden spatulas do I noticed the appetizer is an enemy. Yeah, it seems like the mob spawners are based on <laughs> the appetizer, at least. I mean, that's that's clever because, like, it you know, it's subtle. You gotta notice it. It feels like the most classic era SpongeBob writing in a long time. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, you know, it's pretty good. Like I said, it's pretty good when it's not overly on the nose, yeah. I hesitate to call it, like, classic era. Game might be a little loud on my end. Um, I hesitate to call it classic era, but it's it definitely pretty good, at least, on its own merits. I don't know, like... When I have to compare it to something, it's a little hard. But generally, I like it. Like, again, no idea what that does. I assume I might get a mission later that's like, oh, hey, SpongeBob, me boy, find me golden spatulas. And I just don't have it yet, but I don't, I don't know. They, I've been collecting them. It's not exactly classic area, but it feels like a similar sort of wit. I did not mean to do that. Do something. These cables are glowing. Maybe they feel pretty. I assume the classic era ended with the first movie, considering that was meant to be the series finale. The hash slinging slasher. Uh, yeah, that's that's about what people define as like the classic era. It also doesn't help that that's when the show started bleeding a lot of staff. Like, a lot of the old writers started dropping off to go work on their own projects, I assume. I mean, that is what ended up happening eventually. Order up. 
And it's it's honestly fascinating to watch some of their uh, of solo projects. If it's just dark. Not just dark, Patrick. This is advanced darkness. Okay, I get the idea. <laughs> cool collision. But yeah, it's fascinating to kind of watch their solo projects because if you're like me, you almost sort of get a feel for what they brought to the table with Spongebob. Like, you know, you can watch Chowder and notice a bit of, like, how the writing works out. And Mighty Magiswords had a couple of those, like, you know, cutaway gags. Not, not cutaway gags like Family Guy, but you know, like, like this game's been doing with, uh, like, paintings, you know? And then there's, you know, Phineas and Ferb, you can see, like, a bit of, like, <laughs> Dan Povenmire's wit in there. No! Sandy! I mean, <clears throat> Sandy. <laughs> that works for the... I'm glad I chose the Mermaid Man costume for that. The name's Candy, with a C as hard as the toffee in Grandma's candy dish. Thank you for bringing the power back. We're looking for my pet snail, Gary. Do I get to he play as her here? Probably kidnapped by a monster. Have you seen him? Haven't seen your pet around, I'm afraid. But that monster, they say its lair is in the museum. Is it just me, or does it feel like she's exaggerating the southern drawl a little bit right now? It's dangerous, but it might be your best chance of finding your little critter. Sounds reasonable. We should ask this monster if it's seen Gary. Patrick, I don't think monsters can talk. You know what? My little monster theater has been reset. You mind giving me a hand with putting it back in order? If you do, I'll open the way to the museum for you, so you can go look for that monster and your friend. I don't like it, but if there's a chance Gary is with this monster, we have no other choice. Oh, poor Gary. Let's get this theater fixed. Uh, facial expression didn't really fit, but, you know, I'm nitpicking. Oh, you gotta, like, adjust. Yeah, so you gotta kind of move the shadows into place. No, that's... No, no, no. No, 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 no. Is this the hash slinging slasher? Yes, it is. So, what, what part needs to be moved? Oh, okay. Th this part's just locked in place. So if it's locked in place... You just, you got it. Okay, it's definitely not there. You can change the depth. Oh, I can, yeah. For some reason, that didn't even occur to me. There we go. Thanks, Square Man. Now take your floating buddy out of here before there's an audience arriving. Can't have a scary show with this jolly balloon bobbing about. Okay, I guess I do not get to play as Sandy. Disappointing. Oh, look at these gallons of slime, Patrick. Gary must be terrified, poor thing. Wait, wait, it's wait, wait. All Gary slime. Maybe the monster got oh, you're right. She isn't wearing the suit. More sweet babies in danger? Oh, say it isn't so. I mean, yeah, within the show's logic, the helmet's the important thing. I d like, the suit? Frankly, I don't know what the suit is for. I mean, besides the obvious meta explanation of it gives her a more interesting character design. See, what I thought was would be neat is if, you know, since the movie game only let you play as Spongebob and Patrick, you know, and this game turns Patrick into Navi. I thought maybe, like, you'd switch between Spongebob and Sandy, and that would be, like, the balance, you know? It would be the Spongebob and Sandy equivalent to the movie. The suit is there so she's not wearing her bikini in public all the time. 
True. Jerry is so learned. <laughs> so learned. Can I like walk on the? Yes, I can. Should I? Probably not. Oh, oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, definitely not. Also, fur not get wet. Oh, yeah, that's that's pretty true. I mean, I don't like it when my fur gets wet. I'll tell you that much. A slide! It's a slide! Ooh, more jelly. God, God is real, and so is Neptune, I guess. But yeah, the, the music here, uh, I'm gonna be honest, not feeling it. Pressurized suit, but Bikini Bottom is so close to the surface that she doesn't really need it. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, the Tiki Breaking could use an extra bit of oomph. I'm just happy to see a slide, though. I thought we were gonna go the whole game without one. Oh, and it doesn't have the slide music. It doesn't have guitar slide music. Alright, so I'm... I'm confident in saying now, this game soundtrack not as good as Battle for Bikini Bottom. It does But yeah, it's it's a little too orchestral. Like, like, obviously I'm joking about like, oh, it doesn't have the slide music, so it's worse. But I don't know. It's like overall, it's a bit more like orchestral, atmospheric, and I don't know. I just don't go for that quite as much. Now, now, some's better than others. Like, the pirate area, I enjoyed. I mean, I couldn't... I couldn't recall it for you right now if you asked me. But I, I liked it well enough. It sounds like epic Mickey music. It, it does, honestly. But yeah, I was... Like, there was an interview with, I think it was one of Square Enix's composers that said, like, a lot of the limits of older consoles, you had to focus more on melody than you would have otherwise. And honestly, games like this make me think, you know, maybe they, maybe he was on to something. Okay, now we're, now we're sliding uphill. This just makes no sense at all. But yeah, it's just... The museum. It's up ahead. Devil's Advocate. Battle for Bikini Bottom also had streamed audio. True, but I mean, you know, they were like relying on, I think, more synthesized music regardless, like... You know, like playing it on a synth or something like that. I don't know, maybe I'm full of it, but I don't... You know, this ge <laughs> This game's collision may be a little half-baked. But, but they expected you to come back here. Because look at all this. Yeah, it's more rock-oriented, and frankly, I, I prefer that. I, I mean, but then again... You know, like I said, maybe it's unfair because I consider Battle for Bikini Bottom basically the perfect SpongeBob <laughs> soundtrack. So it's it's hard to top, admittedly. Regardless, I just I like it better. That that's what I'll commit to. Like regardless of the reason, this is a bit more you know generically atmospheric. It would have been cool, like, 
if they got the old guys back for this, but maybe they're not in the business anymore. And then it turns out they did make this and they just, <laughs> it's just not as good. I didn't see the bobolisk emote. Well, it's absolutely there. And it's a follower emote. Oh, hey, look, it's that frame. That being said, I feel like this may be more foreshadowing than anything else. Also, yeah, some of the Tiki's don't have gravity, and I'm not sure why that is. Like, I thought that was like a game-wide thing at first. But no, it kind of just seems like some Tiki's... Like, like it's a flag that they had to manually set, which... Honestly, I would have done it the other way around, like... Told you. Oh. Look at all those snails the monster kidnapped! Look, it's Gary! So how do we save Gary without that monster snail seeing us? Gary is the monster snail! Huh? They grow up so fast, don't they? These massive amounts of candy bars must have given him a sugar rush. We can't take him back home yeah, like this. Yeah, that a adds up. Sure, why not? First. Already on it, buddy! <laughs> Do you like that? That's actually, like, really funny. Oh, boss. So we gotta be stealthy. Let's wear a different costume for this. Action hero. Oh. Hey, SpongeBob, me boy. I need you to take down the, the Metal Gear. Um. Oh, I gotta destroy the. I gotta destroy the candy machine, I guess. And he's not happy about that. Nor would I be, I suppose. Dodge moves really useful here. So you just kind of hang out behind them. Even creature from the Krusty Krabs, more orchestral music has a bit more character to it, I think. Yeah, maybe. And yeah, the whole thing about Creature from the Krusty Krab is it was sort of like Spongebob B-movie. Oh! Oh! Also, one of these days I'll have to play that. Because I do, I do have a bit of nostalgia for that. Oh, old game. I'm, I'm not sure how I was supposed to do that. So you gotta like... Oh. Okay, this is a little weird. What gave Gary ice powers? Oh, he's been eating spearmint. <laughs> Same idea. Oh, oh, no! No, 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 no need to do that.
Oh, there's health down there I didn't get. Oh. You know what? You know what? Fine. Fine. All right, just tank it. I mean, you'd think he could see me behind this. Oh, oh no, wait, the goop is blocking it. Never mind. Thanks to the goop. I would like to thank this video's sponsor, the goop. The, this orchestral track isn't bad for this situation, honestly. Yeah, it, it works here. Like this scenario, it works. Oh, dear. Oh. No, no, no. Ow. Time bomb worry. set. Escape immediately. I'm sure he'll go back to normal once we get him home. I sure hope you're right, Patrick. I've never been wrong about anything yet. Sent this pretty low in the mix, though. Crying emoji. Once in my life, I think I might have been wrong. <laughs> Sorry, nose is a little runny. Oh, boating school. Boating school time. Okay, so he is still large and in charge. Oh, okay, so... So he's just hanging out here now and is going to attack me whenever I walk by. That's cool. Thank you. No, see, Patrick is a character that is extremely reliable and infallible. You know, honestly, I feel that. Sometimes I wish someone would just control me for the day. <laughs> you know, there's an old joke that goes like when you're a kid, you know, nobody can tell you what to do. But then you're an adult, you're like, please tell me what to do. <laughs> Please, I insist. Uh, I need direction. Who's to say they're not? I guess that is true. That's the new Truman Show thing. You know, like, at first it was... I think I'm in a TV show. Now it's, I think somebody is controlling my every move. part about being an adult is no one can stop you. The worst part about being an adult is no one can stop you. Ooh, more jelly. You guys sure have a lot of energy. Cannot relate to that. Ow. Come on. There's too much going on in this hub world right now.
Okay, what is the what is the purpose? Just just a quick way to get Oh, okay. Battle time. I was up here before and there was no battle. Where was my battle? Yeah, this guy is definitely very tartar. Oh, nope. Again, don't know what I'm collecting these for. Tell SpongeBob hi. Oh, hello, little stick. <laughs> All right, SpongeBob. Not that cool. I already did that, right? I I have no idea. Yeah, I had to have, right? Yeah, I, I I definitely did this. I have no idea why I'm still doing it, but I am doing it. Get a couple of those. Okay, game. <laughs> okay, game. I know it's a very challenging situation, but could you stop yammering? I'm trying to concentrate. You know. Uh, that was sheer luck. You know, I'm starting to think this Cassandra lady isn't a very nice person. <clears throat> uh, speaking of which. Good news! I found that squiddy neighbor of yours. Just to give me more jelly and your new cosmic costume will get you to him. Unga bunga. Maybe I'll just stay here and nap under my rock. Oh, sorry, Patrick. Balloons and heavy rocks don't go well together. Besides, we have to save Squidward. Fine. Well, Squidward owes me a nap when we find him. Ah, I look like I'm from the Stone Age. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like some idiot who lives under a rock. Finally, Bikini Bottom is back to its old, unpredictable self. Oh, was there a, was there a golden spatula in there? Wait, hang on. We. Mm, pardon me. No, it was just a really shitty box and we're glad it's gone. See, I don't remember if I did this. I feel like I might have done this. A little dab -a -a. Yeah, I have, I have almost certainly done this. But you know what? It's cool, so I'll do it again. So there's a side quest going on somewhere around here. Give me that. Oh yeah, this is back where we spawned in. Don't attack me, please. I would prefer to remain unattacked. Ooh, Unassailed. All over the ground. Patrick, I think that's hot lava. Well, I lava me some cheese. Oh, SpongeBob, there you are. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I need your help. Anything for my favorite teacher. This jelly stuff ruined all the good noodle stars. I can't reward students without them. I uh, uh, need you to get new ones. Don't you worry, Mrs. Puff. Your best noodle student will help you in these trying times. Thank you, SpongeBob. Okay, more things to collect. Ah, no more chafing. Please, just give me all the things to collect. I want this to be a collect-a-thon, if you will. Oh no! Sea bears! Quick, draw a circle of water up! Was that the only reason I went up there? 
Certainly not. We all descended from like fish, man. <laughs> okay, so you can get more up. How do you do that? I frankly don't know. I mean, there's like... I mean, maybe after I do beat the level. Cause yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing anything. We all okay, you already said that. You already said it. Yeah, I assume that, you know, I'll get something after I'm in the prehistoric world. And that might help me out. I'm trying to see if there's any way to cancel this. Your two favorite people in the world are coming to rescue you. Patrick, you can't say that. You especially can't say that. Rivening dialogue. Oh, oh, now I know what they're saying. Okay. All right. Understood. Point. Point made. And we get another slide. Hooray, where have these been? <laughs> Okay, this is better music. Yeah, this is more like it. Unga bunga music. Grand slam. Have it have I not been doing that already? Oh, wait, oh no, it's you gotta do it after a double jump. So you do this. Regular slam. And then that finally. Feels a little arbitrary. You know, it's like a Donkey Kong 64 level upgrade. Oh, oh, new, new monster. Oh, it's the worm. Okay, that was a little awkward. The ground pound upgrade they gave to Patrick and rehydrated. Hmm, I don't remember that. Like it's just, they just made it, they just buffed it. Like, I, I like this part. I 
Like that's that's pretty good. That that that's the kind of music I've been waiting for. Oh, so they gave him like. Oh, so they gave him a weaker double jump, a, a weaker ground pound for a single jump. We got nerfed. Yeah, okay. I don't remember if I ever noticed that they were different. I mean, I had to have. But it's faster, so it's better in some situations. True, true. Man, it... It's been too long since I played that, let me tell you. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like it's been that long, but it's been longer than I care to admit. Time flies, let me tell you. And I wish it would stop. Yeah, I'm just, I'm not good at talking tonight. I mean, I'm never good at talking, but I'm especially bad at it right now. <laughs> oh, need, need me that. I don't know why I need me that, but I need me that. Talk like Spongegar. Yeah, I guess nobody's good at talking right now. <laughs> ooh, ooh. I love the combos you can do with that, though. It's, it's very satisfying to pull that off. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, he's right there. Yeah, it's a... Uh, this guy might be a tiny bit buggy. You know, just, just a little. See what I mean? The power I possess. The power he possesses is incredible. He doesn't stand a chance. I cannot hit that with the bubble. Oh no, not this dick. Not this guy again. I almost like accidentally called him this dick. <laughs> And I promise you, this time, that's not even what I meant to say. If the boot fits. Like, I feel like you could get behind this dude and attack him. But, I mean, easier said than done. Nope. Nope. There's gotta be a way. There's gotta be a way. Okay, there's a couple of, like, little collectibles down there, but it's probably not worth it. It is probably not- Excuse me, I need to clear my throat real quick. Yeah. Ugh. Oh yeah, and Spot's in this level somewhere. No, if Spot was down there, I would go down there. Wait, wait, hold up. 
maybe I do need to go down there actually. I don't know. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. No, but there's like a hoverboard section. Oh, hoverboard time trial. Okay, well, it was for a doubloon, so I guess it was ultimately worth it. They do have some good platforming in this game, I will say. And I especially like some of the tech you can do. Like you can do this. Oh, it's that? <laughs> they play like... <laughs> they play two seconds of that. You know what? Honestly... Honestly, it's for the best. Oh. Oh, we get to do this then, huh? I thought for... I thought for a second maybe we'd get the net. We could do something with the net. I already forgot what it told me. But you know we can we can roll the rock. We can r ride the rolling rock while drinking rolling rock. Okay, I lost my rock. Where? Uh, what do I do? What do I do? Oh, here it is. Okay, good. Oh, wait, I could have, like, rode the geyser up. Right. There's, like, some Mario Galaxy crap right here. I mean, I know this whale design is from an episode. Catch jellyfish to wake the Dorudon. Okay. Does that count as ca Does that count as catching them? Someone set up me the bomb. What has better grammar? The SpongeBob caveman in this level or the Zero Wing intro? Okay, so you have to attack. Ow. Yeah, see that guy, you get a whole bunch of options, really. Can I just do this? I felt like I should have been able to do that. Mm, there's one on the other side, but I must, <laughs> I must retrieve the rock.
Is there something up here? Well, I'm running into an invisible wall, so that's not a great sign. Oh, oh dear. I'm still alive. Ah, oh, crap. I was so close to recovering for that. Recovering from that. Oh. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Can the can I get the rock respawned if I go back here? No. Oh, thank you, Patrick. Thank you, my son. Yeah, I might have I might have created an incident. <laughs> I might have made a mistake of some kind. No, no. Yes. Yes. <laughs> None of you believed in me. None of you believed I could do it. And frankly, you were you were right. You were right not to believe in me, but by sheer fluke, I have done it. And even that didn't do that great of a job. This thing is resilient. No. Yes, give me my sweet reward. Check around the corners, you know. You never know where something might be hiding. Can I climb on this guy? I should not have tried. Ah, oh, who am I kidding? I absolutely would have tried no matter what. Right into the hole. <laughs> what, what was that? What was that cutscene? Ah! Anywho, this is the part of the game's development where they realized they didn't put any slides in the game and they were like, oh god. Oh god, we gotta put some slides in the game. Oh, oh, oh. They're using the tiki's against me. You can't do that. make the Buzz Lightyear sound with my mouth. <laughs> Internet cut out for a minute, I'm back. I need to have a word with them. Are you alive? Am I? Am I? Can you hear me? Don't go into the light.
I can't hear the game though. I gotta put it back in focus. Yes, my ISP can be quite irritating at points. No, actually it's spelled H-A-N and pronounced Han. Oh, no, no, don't do that to me. Oh, I see that, I see that. Ah, oh, yes, Sand Mountain moment. Now I just gotta find the 800 snowmen. Oh, we finally unlocked new costumes. Which will, uh, this world will be especially silly without the caveman costume, but you know what, I'm doing it anyway. Okay, so what do we get? We get these, I think. Oh no, made SpongeBob. Oh, vampire's a little late. You know what, I'll save the maid one, because explorer one fits in pretty well. He looks like a minion. Oh god, he does. But he can't be, because you know, I've laughed at some of the things he said in this game. Oh no, the rock penis has returned. Oh! Do not erupt onto me. That would be rude. No, 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 get me on there. Oh, we're doing this now. Oh, oh. Don't do that. Again, not very nice. Come on, let me kick that. Let me kick it! Oh, more tiki platforming. I don't know why they're so fascinated with that in this game. I mean, I'm not even saying I have an issue with it, I'm just saying it's a thing, you know? Let me readjust my chair a little bit, okay. Okay. that ledge, I, I would have been at least mildly upset. It was just for underwear or a purple shiny object, usually. Yeah, it, it had a little bit of it. What am I... what? Oh, is it because I missed that guy? It was because I missed that guy. <laughs> Accurate. <laughs> oh, <laughs> to load bearing that guy. Oh, oh, side path, side path. SIDE PATH! Did that serve any purpose? Not really. But, I did it. The speedrun path, yes. Indeed. Or whatever it is you told me to say earlier. Is 
Is there anything up there? Is this just here for the jolly hell of it? Seems to be. Oh crap. What was that? What happened? <laughs> Until they find a way to skip this section altogether by walking into the wall at the right angle and doing a frame perfect crown pound. I oh, and yeah, now we're thinking with speed running. Hmm. I wonder if there's a secret down there. I'm gonna find out! There was not! You know how I thought maybe there was a secret down there? That was not. <laughs> oh, no, no, don't roll off. Don't roll off. Don't roll off. Don't. Stop. 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 Uh, I think that's the first time I've ever died, <laughs> like, not via a pit. And they didn't- they don't use the Half-Life 2 sound anymore. Regrettable. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Was that a fart joke? I think that was a fart joke. Honestly, stuff is just kind of happening here, you know? It's like... This is one of those levels where the plot is moved forward by random things exploding for random reasons. I- I do like- I do like the caution symbols on the wall made out of, like, various prehistoric objects, though. Oh, uh, you know, the Half-Life 2, like, uh, flatline sound effect where you die. Where you die in Gordon Freeman flatlines. Or, you know, like when you crash your ridiculous Gary's Mod vehicle into something. <laughs> your Gary's Mod couch with a, <laughs> with a propulsion system. Oh god, this is a slide puzzle. locked in place yes it is okay so what do you mean that's not the right side for that oh wait there's a uh, there's cave drawings up there <laughs> that's cute honestly cave drawings of stuff that just happened a few moments ago Okay, so this is like... This is coming out of her. You, you don't need to like misread that in any way. There's nothing... There's nothing peculiar about how I just said that.
So like this here. That goes there? If you say so. No, I mean, I guess that works. Oh. Okay, it's not... It, it was a bit cuter when the game wasn't, uh... <laughs> wasn't like directing my attention to it. Every 3D platformer gotta have the wave boss. This is a peculiar performance she's giving right now. Okay, I get the I get the picture. Like you don't want to put maybe like a little bit more, little bit more emotion into that. am I doing at this point? <laughs> Ow. Okay, that's pretty wacky. Oh, oh, the load bearer. The load bearer. She even want him. Oh no! Get off of me! Get! Oh god! I'm I'm not in a good spot right now. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm dead. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll, I'll wait out your your move. Yeah, it's the there's a flat line, but it's not the half-life flat line, you know what I mean? Unless it was, and they just have multiple for some reason. Cause I'll be honest with you, I wasn't paying attention. Cool, she killed him. Thanks. Oh, yep, just... Okay, I didn't take damage from that. Oh, oh, there is... 
There's too much going on right there. I don't even notice those guys on me half the time. Oh dear, not the worm. Okay, that time it hurt. I guess maybe it's just because I was doing the dodge. I don't know how effective the dodge is. Apparently, more effective than I think. There we go. Tail up, foe, SpongeBob! Tail up, foe! Huh? Oh, squawk trapped here with two morons! No! That was remarkably <laughs> close to English. He was beginning to remember his life on the outside. Was it just me or did that one feel kind of short? Uh, Squidward, I don't know if you've noticed, but I want you to hear it from me first. Uh, you're still talking like a cave squid. Hum, Gaga. Hmm, looks like Squidward's vocabulary is stuck between the cosmic rifts. Madam Cassandra will help us get it back. Are you all right? My favorite sponge lackey has returned. With lots of jelly, I hope. Aye, aye, Cassandra. But can you use it to restore Squidward's vocabulary? It kind of got lost in all the cosmic chaos. This precious jelly is not to be wasted on the minor inconveniences of a bald sea critter. This is about the big, the really big, the biggest picture! My once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for world domin- I mean saving. Saving the world. Mm-hmm. Well, if you can't help Squidward, I gotta find someone who can. Someone who has a way with words. Someone with a vast vocabulary. But who? Oh, how about Gary? That's a great idea. Gary's a well-read master of linguistic finesse, and he definitely has a book or two that'll help Squidward. Let's check out his library right away. Yeah, plus he knows how to say meow. Oh, boy. Well, when you finish that, here's a new cosmic costume for your next jelly run. <laughs> Tis Keep. I, Sir Squarepants, ready to rescue another companion. Bikini Bottom is back to its old Kill Jester. My game, isn't it? Kill Jester. Oh, they don't even let me go in the pineapple. Get hungry when we go to a library. Don't you remember what happened last Major time? Major downgrade. Happened? The no food and drink sign is there for a reason. The food on the sign is what always makes me hungry. That one will help Squidward for sure. That should do the trick, Patrick. Let's go back to Squidward. What a quest. You're here! I need your help with a problem I'm having. Anything for you, Sandy. Yes, quests! I'm already on a quest. It looks like the heating for my tree dome broke when we came back. I have a little emergency machine for cases like this, but it needs some really hot objects in order to function. We'll keep our eyes open on our adventure and bring you back as many hot objects as we can find. You're the best! Thanks, SpongeBob! <laughs> This book will help you find the right words again, Squidward. After all, it helped Gary to learn all those fancy expressions he uses. Je vous déteste tout! His coughing doesn't sound too good. Well, if you ask me, I always eat something very rough to sand down the cough. Ooh, we could try that! But first, let's try something more refreshing. 
Hmm, where can we find some delicious slurpable beverages? Okay, I got a refreshment quest. Okay, I mean, I wasn't gonna say anything, but maybe, coolified, maybe you should stop doing that. Just, I don't, I don't know what to say to that. I know you're real, you know, high on the idea, but I'm just, I don't know. Oh, that was out of bounds. <laughs> Whoops. What kind of soup do you think's in that cauldron? Hopefully, I of mute. Sorry, it, it's all right. I mean, I don't know if the beverages are something I'm supposed to find in the hub world. I mean, I do have new moves. Yeah, like this, this is new. I can do this now. Oh, oh don't hit me. Don't hit me. Again, another one of these notes. Buy more money. <laughs> the bargain mark must have everything. God, I wish. Yeah, it's it's it feels a little weird without pawns, honestly. Uh, ow! Yeah, cool damage I'm taking right now. Hey, give me that! Give me that! <laughs> God, there's too much stuff in the hub world. Get out of here. My mom said I could ride a sea monkey for my birthday. <sighs> no more chafing. They had to give Patrick something to do. Yeah. Yeah. A little dab will do ya. Now I still don't know what the whole deal with over here was. Maybe I should go over to Glove World because I, I mean I was scared about going there, but because I was I don't know I was worried it would be progress or something. What did she want? With all the oh the the stars the the noodle stars. <laughs> I haven't seen any of those either. Like, there's stuff up there. But I don't know how to get up there. I don't see it. I don't want to walk over there because I'm scared she'll talk to me again. Yeah, like this is just like, oh, go back down there. Sticky sweet. This no, town no. has oh. really changed, man. Ooh, thank you. Okay, y'all just, y'all just hanging. Ow.
All right, what what's going on in here? Oh, absolutely nothing. At least not yet. All right, I guess we'll take a peek at the next world. Just a peek, though. I hope all our missing friends are still okay. It's up to us to bring them back. It's Mario's Rainbow Castle. Ooh, this is the tallest slide ever. Yeah, they they really just forgot this to put any in the first half of the game. Like. Ooh, and they just started panicking. They're like, oh shit. they float just like me. SpongeBob and Rome. Oh, oh. I am honestly shocked that I did not take damage from that. Wait, wait. I know a secret when I see one. And I be seeing it, boys. Ah, uh, there it is. something back here no I can't find out maybe, maybe I can maybe I can no I cannot did I need to do any of that no not even remotely but you never know Please quit placing the stone man in my path. Who dares to uh, crash into thy princess's window? Fear not, my Whaley. It is Sir SpongeBob of Bikini Bottom here to rescue you with his loyal squire, Patrick. Square Patrick? I thought you were the square one. Unless, have I been Spongebob all along? Stop it, <laughs> your child has said shenanigans at... Oh, forget it. Listen, Spongebob, I'm about to throw the most coral slumber party the sea has ever seen. There's gonna be cake and a band and popular girls from all corners of the realm, and they're all coming to celebrate their love for me, the princess. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. This rescue mm. might take a little longer than I was expecting, Patrick. You should call me SpongeBob. Oh, whatever. Bye. <gasps> ah! No! Oh, it's the switch. Guys, it's the switch. What a huge rock. Looks more like a castle to me. Well, whatever it is, I'd sure like to live under it. We're just, we're using the foot switch now. After an entire game of not using it, here it is. Also, the spears are just visible now. That's a long way down. We didn't account for them being already out in their animation. Yes, the human foot switch. I mean, I think Spongebob has a human foot. It's windy oh, dear. It's windy now, why does he have a human foot? I don't know. 
That doesn't feel right, but also sponges are... I don't know what I'm doing. Sponges are not usually square. And they don't talk. You know, we could we could be here all day if we allow it. Yeah, you know, he keeps it in his freezer. Time to get lost in Gino's maze. Ooh, more jelly. Can I just do this? Mm, results inconclusive. Ooh, I want that. Please give that to me, that upgrade. No, cannot do that. The only joke I've got prepared for this world is throwing on flowery Elizabethan, Elizabethan English. Mind if I do it for this world? Yeah, sure, go ahead. Stop building penular structures out of the tiki's. Thank you. Ooh, more jelly. I think there's a way through now. So, oh, did it just break into pieces? Particles! We broke the bubble wand! How are we gonna get home now and save Pearl? No problem! We can fix it easy peasy! All you gotta do is find all the pieces, lick them, stick them back together. Cassandra won't even notice. Patrick, that's brilliant! <laughs> Let's hope it works on magic bubble wands. I will. Just like when I broke your, uh, fixed your TV. And your bookshelf. Hey, Gary's food bowl. Got it! <laughs> yeah, see, like, some of the, some of it, some of the dialogue here is actually really good. Oh, yeah, I let your refrigerator back together. Oh. I shouldn't have to explain how it came apart in the first place. Sticky sweet. Oh, so it's not actually a maze from the looks of things. It's probably for the best. Okay, game. Okay, game. So. He's always telling us to get lost. You you don't you don't need to like really hammer the joke in. Like you you need to let the joke die while it's still fresh. Okay, like the hammer bit, kind of good, but uh, still, still, the point is, you don't need to, like, the joke was good, you don't have to do it 300 times. Leave them wanting more. Yeah, okay. Okay, well, it's, it's got a little bit of... I really need to find a different way home. It's got a little bit of a branching path. Oh, oh, no, no, let me... Oh, thank you, Patrick. Thank you. 
camera's gotta be pointed at it for me to grapple. That's not the most favorite, my most favoritest thing about this game. Honestly, Sonic Frontiers, the last game I played on PC, was also kind of like that, where you couldn't homing attack stuff unless the camera was pointed at it. Which I understand why they did that, but it, it also means like if I know something is there, and I really need to homing attack it, it, it just, you can't do it. Game, it was funny, and uh, you had a good bit going here, and then it just got silly. Ooh, more jelly. Last time I took to see my butt. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, no, wait, this is a new area. Never mind. Thine joke has lost its luster, sir. Please leaveth it at once. Lest I beat you with a club. they'd stop using the muscle butt dude are you referring to me or spongebob uh i'm referring to sponge bink sponge pat joke make face yeah because the licking joke is has been run thoroughly into the ground i i you know i was like oh well this joke is funny <sighs> and the game's like oh it's funny well then i should say it 18 more times that's that's what i should do that's, that's not what you do. As they say, brevity is the soul of wit. Keep it short, sweet, to the point. Well, maybe we should look in another part of the castle? This part is Oh, okay, I didn't do damage. It, the projectiles this guy shoots kind of look like the freaking world of goo thing. You know, the goo from the world of goo. Okay, frames are getting a little framey here, but I think this is legitimately the game's fault. Maybe it's all the goo. Bit reflective. And when Where doth you think you are going? And when Reflector is cut off from sunlight, he becomes weak! There are options? Well, I want to go to Finland! You know, you could you could probably take that out of co context and use that as a critic like use that as a toxic reaction to any linear video game. Only those who come bearing invitations may enter. And even then, there's no boys allowed. Unless they're in the band. Are you in the band? Tragically, my duties robbeth the princess of the elevating experience that are my melodies. I am forced to cast other, more mediocre talents. And tell sea urchins like yourself to get out of here. Maybe this is the entrance to the castle. We should come back with all the bubble wand pieces. And a compass. 
Oh, I was hoping for a chain reaction. I was hoping for a chain reaction of the Tiki's. Ow. Come on, come on, I want up. I, I guess you get up here and then you like hit that thing and it's like, oh, go over here. Well, I mean, you can't say I didn't look. That being said, I think I'm done for now. Hopefully next time that I play this game, I have a bit more of my mental faculties. Because right now, like I said, I'm... I'm but, uh, I'll see you guys around. Thanks for tuning in.